Hello and welcome to uh, the review for my mock Kate. My name is The Watching Relic. Let's get started. Uh, so this is the last mock that I actually have to catch up with where I had already posted the slideshow. And after this, we're going to be moving on to new mocks and new format for the videos with the slideshow and the review in one. So that should be cool. Anyhow, uh, Kate here, otherwise known as Kit. Kit is her work name, all caps for whatever reason, I don't freaking know. And then Kate is her actual first name. Uh, the basic idea of this character is uh, she's a college student on a planet that she was not born on, and she's paying her way through school via being a hitman, or hit woman, rather. And, um, yeah, uh, as for the way the mock looks and how the character sort of informed my design decisions, uh, I was kind of imagining that she had to kind of gather together uh, a lot of her own gear and a lot of her own sort of elements for her suit and the weapons and armor and things that she takes with her on her job. And so that's why there's a lot of kind of asymmetry and character to the way this mock is put together and why it's supposed to look kind of messy and uh, and sort of low-tech. Maybe not low-tech, just like lots of different little gadgets and bits of armor and whatnot have been gathered from lots of different places and uh, it's all come together to be her current sort of suit and setup that she brings with her. So, anyhow, uh, getting into the design. Come over here. There we go. Oh, no! She's fine. Nothing fell off. That's actually a miracle. Uh, this mock isn't super delicate, so I guess it's not that much of a miracle. Um, so, as you can see, uh, the feet are pretty bait. I'm gonna... Can I move the lighting a little? That's... That's... Hmm... Is that preferable? That seems preferable. Uh, the feet are pretty darn simple. Uh, they are custom, at least. Uh, as usual, I don't really like when I make feet like these and they have such a gap here because it looks like she's actually in high-heeled shoes, which is dumb. Um, I wish there was a way to fill that in. I filled it in on Ava, I think, with a little cheese slope because I was using a different piece here that allowed that. Uh, but I, I didn't do that here for some reason. Anyhow, um, moving on to the lower legs... Um, I do like the lower legs quite a bit. They've got some nice shaping to them with the scrawl armor under here and then this nice slope piece. Working pretty nice visually with this uh, Glatorian armor piece here. I like the way that looks. And a little Anika armor on the back. If we pop this off, you should be able to see... I think I gotta pop kind of everything off. Um, yeah, a lot of this is actually attached sort of by utilizing this piece here this like pin with the lightsaber bar that comes back through here and attaches like slow so into this little one long uh, pin thingamajig and then this goes on like that and then this does a fat attach and then this does a fat attach and as for the actual construction you can see it's just ball joint lift arms glatorian neck and the upper leg is just socket uh, or hand connector uh, lift arms hand connector we have this kind of cool thing going on with the uh, uh, the double metro chest design. It kind of hinders some articulation, which is a bit of a bummer, uh, but I still kind of like the way that looks. Also, the articulation on her knees is pretty hindered by this piece, but what are you going to do? I don't really mind it too much. Uh, I don't really like the way the upper leg looks as much as the lower leg, uh, but it's fine. It serves its purpose, and I think overall the legs... Uh, do look pretty nice, all things considered. I think the best part of the mock, though, is definitely the torso. I'm going to pop her arms off so we can get a better look at that. Uh, lots of little greebly things and little details and stuff. She's got... <laughs> it looks like a nipple, but it's supposed to be like a little radio pack on her chest. This is the little antenna coming out of it. I like how this whole assembly and then these pieces, it's sort of cockeyed because of this gear piece sort of pushing this all up. Um, so there's a nice sort of messiness to it and uh, like that little slope right there and it, it just looks cool It's got some neat little parts usages kind of packed in and some nice little textures I like these barb pieces sort of framing her neck. It's kind of interesting I also like that I was able to util utilize excuse me this really weird like CCBS piece from I think one of the fire villains from way back in the day um, strange freaking piece uh, I don't normally go for it, but I found a way to use it here. It is kind of gappy from the side, but you don't normally notice that. So just ignore that. You never saw that. You never, that was, that was a lie. Um, she's got this weird 
ribbed hose, like gray piece through here with some weird stuff attached. Almost looks like an ammo belt, not really supposed to be, just supposed to be, again, just extra little gadgets and things on her back. I guess this is another antenna, I suppose. This, oh, you can't see it, that little gun. There's another minifigure gun right there to kind of hold the chain in place. The chain is one of the more random details that doesn't really make sense, but I like it. And I also really like uh, the way her hip area is built is kind of unique. As you can see, there's there's four sock or four sockets, four ball joints down here uh, and a little gear in the center just to fill in space and all attached on just a, an axle rod. And then the two hand connectors and then if we pop this off, you can see there's just some lift arms coming up from in between the hand connectors connected with this little rod. And it's kind of cool because normally if you have like a big lift arm in the middle of a torso, its pinholes are running front to back. But this one, it's running side to side, which allows for the attachment of these pieces. Um, and I like this piece on her abdomen too. It's attached with um, <laughs> kind of a fun little detail here, if I can get it. If I can get it off, there we go. This little green axle broke off of um, a Lyrac. Um, rock she head so that's that's where that came from and then I sharpied this side of it you could kind of the sharpie starting to wear off though just ignore that I also like that there's just a an old bone here just to fill in space I don't know why I just think that's kind of fun and uh, yeah that's pretty much everything to do with her torso her legs are falling apart we're gonna fix them real quick uh, we're not gonna go over her arms because come on uh, sorry, I'm trying to, like, get her to stand now. Okay, every everything's everything's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Um, here's her head. We'll go over that, though. Um, she is supposed to have more or less just kind of a human face, like, on her actual body, but she's supposed to have some kind of a... Oh, wait, did... What? Her head got super messed up. One of these, these little slopes, the other one is, like, super, like, pushed in there for some reason. That's great. Well, I'm, I was gonna take this off anyway. Oh, no. One of the slopes, fella. I found it. Everything's good. Um, everything's fine. This video's going great. Anyhow, you can see super, super simple construction. Then the core hunter piece. Like I said, her actual face is supposed to be more or less just kind of a normal human face in the lore. Uh, but this is sort of supposed to be like a some kind of a helmet and visor going on um, that she's got that covers up her normal face as a bit of a disguise when she does her work and for safety because you know gotta protect gotta protect the melon. Um, that's where the brain is. And then these little pieces go in here, not to be eyes or anything, but just to kind of fill in that that gap again to kind of get a bit of a visor look going. I pushed it too far in. We're going to ignore that and pretend it's just, it's fine. You can't even tell from a distance. Um, again, not really going to go over the arms because they're super basic. Uh, weapons. Dumb looking knife. Dumb looking gun. Uh, in the lore, she's supposed to have all sorts of little blades and tools and firearms hidden throughout her suit. Um, and I'm not really able to represent that properly. I just gave her a couple kind of lame weapons. Maybe I'll work more on that in the future. I should really make her a sniper rifle because that's her main weapon to actually kill people in the story. Um, but she doesn't have one. The mock doesn't have one. So I'll fix that in the future, I'm sure. Um, that would be a fun little project. As far as things I wish I could change, the legs are a little bow-legged because of these life counter pieces, these metro chests. Sorry, that's what they actually are. I'm stupid. Um, I don't really like the way it looks a whole ton, but it's it's kind of fine for the most part. It doesn't bug me too much. If you turn her to the side a little bit, it's a little less obvious. And overall, yeah, I like this mock. I think it's got a nice kind of unique character to it and uh, just looks pretty solid overall and it was a fun one to build. I kind of forget about it because I've done so much lore building for the character that when I think of Kate, I just think of the character, not really the mock, if that makes sense, but still the mock is, is cool nonetheless. Uh, can I get this to work? There we go. There's Vekor and Breck, and for a little size comparison, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video, and I have no idea what mock I'm going to post next, uh, but I'm sure it'll be cool, so I will see you all then. Goodbye!